For those that are from Morgan's fitness training, um, looking at glutes, activation, stabilization drills, um, we're going to show you the, the Superman or Bird Dog drill, um, a couple of variations on it that we use. Okay, This is taken from all fours. But with this drill, the slower the better. Okay, You're going to take one leg and the opposite hand, and you're going to reach them out. Okay. With this, you're looking for length. All right, you're not looking to get the leg up real high. You're looking for length. You're going to try and reach the wall behind you and the wall in front of you, and then bring it back in. Okay. Now you can either do all reps on one side, or you can be swapping as you go. All right. Key points in this: as the leg lifts, the tendency of a lot of people is to lift the hip up, particularly if the glutes are not firing right. Your goal is to keep the pelvis parallel to the floor as that leg goes out, okay? Same as it comes back in. With the arm and shoulder, same thing. You're not looking to have that shoulder dropping or to be lifting up from here, okay? The arm just goes out. So essentially, there's no movement from the hip to the shoulder, all right? This, the whole torso remains completely stationary. So as you go out, like through slide on the ground, reach the walls, okay, there's no hip cocked up, there's no shoulder drop down, everything's nice and stationary, and bring it back in, okay, if that's a little bit much, you can release the arm, uh, not use the arms, you just use the hip, focus on the lower portion of the body, and back, okay, reach out, so we hold it, and back, how long you hold it for, 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, Three one thousand is a kind of a minimum. You can go higher than that if you need to. All right. Second version of this I like to use is to keep the knee bent. So this is leg only, and you push your heel to the ceiling. Okay, so the legs bend ninety degrees and down. Uh, same thing, nice and slow. Pause at the top. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, and down. Okay. Um, I think that gets called a fire hydrant. Uh, not sure. You see a lot of the aerobicists doing these kind of movements, the supermans, fire hydrants, and if you watch them, they're banging it out. Give them all this nonsense. That's crap. Plain and simple. Alright? Slower, the better. Pause at the end. These movements are about control. These are not part of a workout. These are about training the body to move properly, efficiently getting everything working in line. These are part of your warm-up. They can be used in between sets of other exercises as an active recovery drill. Uh, so for example, if you've done you know, a set of deadlifts, there's no harm doing a few supermans in between, okay? Particularly as you're ramping the weight up in the early sets. All right, if you're doing maybe clean and press, again, there's no harm in doing a few supermans in between that either. It just keeps everything gets everything right, preparing you for your heavier work session, your main, main work, alright? Um, play around with that, take them nice and slow, 